React Native comes with a built-in button component, which is probably not what we want to use when we want custom buttons. However, it is still a reasonable default to get us started playing around with touch events. So let's take a look. We start off with an empty React Native application with just a safe area. And now to import the button component, we bring it in from the React Native package. We use this component as a child of the safe area view. And the only prop that we need to provide when using the button component is the title prop, which is the text that is contained within that button. Now that we have this button displayed on screen, a key thing to note over here is that there is significant rendering difference between iOS versus Android. A few key things to point out are the fact that the button's colors are different. I know they both look like blue, but trust me, they are a bit different. Additionally, this blue on iOS is actually the font color, whereas on Android, it is actually the button background. Another subtle change is that the casing on the title is preserved in iOS, whereas on Android, the text turns to uppercase. Additionally, when we click the button on iOS, we get a different feedback than what we get on Android, where the feedback follows material design. Now, right now, nothing is happening when we are pressing the button. That's because we haven't provided any callback for on press. So let's add the on press prop to the button. And within the callback, we will use console.warn to log out pressed. Now using console.warn for debugging is a neat trick because now when we press the button, the message that we pass to console.warn is displayed on screen and we don't have to open any developer tools to see that output. Now, as mentioned, in terms of customization, the button component doesn't have that many props, but let's take a look at some of the core props that it does have. Now with the button component, in terms of styling, you are pretty much limited to the color option. And as you can see, it changes the text color on iOS and changes the background color on Android. Another neat property provided by the button component is the accessibility label. Without this property, screen readers would read out the title, but you can change it for screen readers to be something else using this accessibility label property. Similar to how you can disable buttons in the web world, you can disable this particular button component as well. And when you set disabled to true, two things happen. First, the button looks disabled and second, it is no longer clickable, which is similar to the behavior that we get in a web browser. And we can always toggle it based on some application logic. For example, when we set it to false, the button is no longer disabled and our presses work exactly as we expected. And that's all for this lesson. Join me in the next lesson with more tips on React Native. Smash the like and subscribe for more development tips. And I will see you in the next one.